Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're diving into a topic that's going to challenge everything you thought you knew about food and health. We'll be exposing the shocking truth behind two of the most influential studies in nutrition history, Ansel Keys' Seven Countries Study and the Sugar Scandal. These studies shape the way we think about fat, sugar, and heart disease. But what if I told you they were built on lies and manipulation? Get ready to discover how decades of bad science have led us down the wrong path and what you can do to reclaim your health by making smarter food choices, including the power of a carnivore diet. Stick around to the end for some practical tips on how to avoid the real enemies of your health, sugar and processed foods, and start making changes that will help you thrive. Let's get started. You've been told for years that saturated fat is bad for you, that it clogs your arteries and causes heart disease. But what if I told you that this idea isn't based on solid science? What if you've been misled for decades? Today, we're uncovering the truth behind two of the most deceptive studies in modern nutrition, Ansel Keys' Seven Country Study and The Sugar Scandal. These studies not only misled the public, they shaped what you believe about food and had a devastating impact on your health. It all began with Ansel Keys. You might recognize the name as the man who discovered the link between dietary fat and heart disease, but here's the truth you've probably never heard. Ansel Keys didn't arrive at his conclusions through honest, unbiased science. Back in the 1950s, heart disease was on the rise and Keyes set out to prove that dietary fat, specifically saturated fat, was the cause. He launched what became known as the Seven Countries Study in 1958, following populations from the US, Japan, Finland, Greece, Italy, the Netherlands, and Yugoslavia, to investigate the link between diet and heart disease. But here's the shocking part. Keyes actually had data from 22 countries. Instead of presenting an accurate picture of all the data, he handpicked only seven countries, those that supported his theory that fat caused heart disease. Countries like France and Germany, which had diets rich in saturated fats but low rates of heart disease, didn't fit his agenda, so he left them out of his analysis. You might ask, why would Keyes manipulate his data? The answer is simple, money and influence. Key's work was backed by powerful food industry players and organizations that had a vested interest in promoting a low-fat diet. Companies that produced processed, low-fat foods saw an opportunity to profit. By demonizing saturated fats, they could push sugar-laden products as a healthier alternative. This wasn't just an innocent mistake. The Seven Countries study intentionally distorted the data to paint fat as the enemy while ignoring the role of sugar and refined carbohydrates, the real culprits. Ansel Keys wasn't alone. His studies were funded by large organizations like the American Heart Association and food companies that were looking to expand the market for low-fat, high-sugar products. Over the years, billions of dollars flowed into promoting these low-fat alternatives. But the deception didn't stop with Ansel Keys. In fact, the sugar scandal is an even more blatant example of scientific corruption, this time orchestrated by the sugar industry itself. Let's go back to the 1960s. The sugar industry, alarmed by emerging research linking sugar to heart disease, knew it needed to act fast. So, what did they do? They paid off researchers to shift the blame from sugar to saturated fats. In 1967, the Sugar Research Foundation, now known as the Sugar Association, paid the equivalent of $50,000, roughly $400,000 in today's money, to Harvard scientists to publish a review that downplayed the role of sugar in heart disease and emphasized the dangers of fat. These scientists, some of the most trusted in the field, deliberately misled the public. This study was published in the prestigious New England Journal of Medicine and shaped public health policy for decades. You were told that cutting out fat would save your heart. But the truth, the real threat was the sugar hiding in all those heart-healthy processed foods. By the time this scandal was exposed in 2016, the damage had already been done. The food industry had spent billions to ensure that you feared fat, while they quietly pumped their products full of sugar. Now let's talk about the impact these studies have had on your health and the health of millions around the world. Before the 1950s, diseases like heart disease, diabetes, and obesity were rare. In fact, in the early 1900s, heart disease was almost unheard of. However, after the publication of these manipulated studies, the world's dietary focus shifted drastically. But after the publication of the Seven Countries Study and the Sugar Scandal, and the subsequent rise of low-fat, high-sugar diets, everything changed. Heart disease, diabetes, and obesity 
have all skyrocketed since these studies led to major changes in our dietary guidelines. Instead of focusing on real whole foods, the world shifted to processed sugar-laden products marketed as healthy simply because they were low in fat. The result? You've been living through an epidemic of chronic diseases driven by poor dietary advice based on manipulated science. Before the 1950s, disease data, heart disease, relatively rare, diabetes, rare, obesity, 10 to 15% of the population. But after the publication of the seven countries study and the sugar scandal and the subsequent rise of low fat, high sugar diets, everything changed. Let's look at today's numbers after the shift to low fat diets, heart disease, the leading cause of death worldwide. Diabetes affects over 422 million people globally. Obesity, 42% of the US population is obese. Why did this happen? Because there was big money involved. The sugar industry and processed food companies were able to shape the science that guided public health for decades. Ansel Keys's seven country study was not just a scientific mistake, it was part of a broader effort by the food industry to steer you away from saturated fats and toward their low-fat, high-sugar products. Billions of dollars have been made off the idea that saturated fat is the enemy, while sugar quietly found its way into nearly every product you eat. Let's not forget, the Harvard scientists involved in the sugar scandal were paid $50,000 in the 1960s. Today, that's equivalent to over $400,000. And these aren't isolated cases. Food companies have continued to invest heavily in research designed to support their bottom line, not your health. But here's the truth. Natural saturated fats, the ones found in eggs, butter, meat, and dairy, aren't the enemies they were made out to be. Recent unbiased research shows that these fats are not linked to the widespread heart disease epidemic. The real enemy? The sugar and refined carbohydrates that replaced fats in your diet. These are the foods that contribute to inflammation, insulin resistance, and the diseases that are now rampant in today's society. By avoiding fats and consuming low-fat, sugary products, you've been unknowingly fueling a public health crisis, and it's time to take back control of your health. So what should you eat instead? It's simple. Go back to what humans have been eating for thousands of years, whole, unprocessed, animal-based foods. This is the foundation of a carnivore diet, and it can be a powerful way to restore your health, reduce inflammation, and reclaim your life from chronic disease. The carnivore diet is focused on animal products that are rich in healthy fats and essential nutrients while avoiding processed foods and sugar. Here's what you should focus on eating. Grass-fed beef, lamb, pork, and other fatty meats, organ meats, liver, heart, kidney, wild-caught fish and seafood, eggs, full-fat dairy, cheese, butter, cream, bone broth, and collagen-rich foods. These are nutrient-dense, satisfying foods that your body thrives on, they are free of the sugars and processed ingredients that have wreaked havoc on your health for decades. But just as important as what you eat is what you don't eat. It's time to ditch the foods that were never meant to be a part of the human diet, especially those loaded with sugar and refined carbohydrates. Foods to avoid, processed foods, anything with a long ingredient list, sugary snacks and drinks, refined carbohydrates, bread, pasta, cereals, vegetable oils, canola, soybean, corn oil, low-fat, high-sugar products marketed as healthy. By eliminating sugar and processed foods and focusing on nutrient-dense animal products, you can begin to heal the damage that decades of bad dietary advice have caused. You'll stabilize your blood sugar, reduce inflammation, and give your body the fuel it was designed to run on. The stories of Ansel Keys and the sugar scandal show us that not all science is pure. For decades, your choices have been shaped by studies that were driven by money and corporate interests, not your well-being. But now you know the truth. It's not too late to reverse the damage. Choose whole, natural foods. Don't fear saturated fats. But beware of the sugar and refined carbohydrates hiding in plain sight. The health of millions was sacrificed for profit, but your health doesn't have to be. It's time to take control, question everything, and seek the real truth behind what's on your plate. You've seen the truth behind the lies that have shaped your diet for decades. Now, it's time for you to take action. For your health, for your future, and for the well-being of those you care about. What can you do? First, take a hard look at the foods you're eating. Start reading labels, questioning ingredients, and being mindful of what you put into your body. Cut out the sugary snacks, processed foods, and refined carbs that have been silently damaging your health. Next. Embrace whole, natural, animal-based foods that your body was meant to thrive on. 
Foods like grass-fed beef, eggs, fatty cuts of meat, organ meats, and full-fat dairy. These are rich in the nutrients your body craves and free from harmful additives. Consider trying a carnivore diet, or at least incorporating more of these nutrient-dense foods into your meals. This approach can help you reduce inflammation, stabilize your blood sugar, and begin healing the damage done by years of misguided dietary advice. Finally, question everything. Don't blindly trust food companies or even public health guidelines. The truth is, not all science is pure, and your health is too important to leave in the hands of those who prioritize profits over people. You deserve better. Your family deserves better. It's time to take control of your health. Start by making one change today. Whether it's cutting out sugary drinks, adding healthy fats to your meals, or just being more mindful of the food choices you make. Your health is in your hands. You have the power to break free from the lies and reclaim a life of vitality, strength, and well-being. Make the change today. Your body will thank you later.